What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Doing a couple spring banks here, probably rolling your eyes, thinking Rob always does spring banks, what else is new? Um, this is the local barley bottled in December of 2022. 15,000 bottles. Its makeup is 55% sherry, 35% bourbon, 10% rum cask. Over here to my left is a society release. It's five years old called a 100 proof. Not sure why they do that because it's never 100 proof on the dot. This one is 57.1% alcohol by volume, meaning that that's 114.2 proof. Um, very strange for a society release to be five years old only. So uh, gonna nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. This is a first impressions kind of thing. The, there's only 2,000 166 bottles of this one available. 15,000 bottles of the local barley available. So I, saw, I decided to put these together just because I know you'll have a better shot at getting the local barley than you will the society release if you're not a member, but it would be a cool head to head. Over here on my right with the local barley. Okay, so every local barley that I've had that is has a good portion of bourbon cask, has this note, and it's almost like a black licorice, but very faint. Like, um, like a super grassy, sweet grassy kind of note. And that's what I get here. The local barleys are super famous, super popular, go for crazy money on secondary. But to be honest, the ones that I've liked the most are the 16 year old and the one from 2020, which was 100% sherry. Okay, so sweet grass, very, very light peat, a touch of black licorice, Something vanilla-like, maybe a little bit of powdered sugar. On the palate. Doesn't drink like 55.1%, so it's not overly hot. Nice smoothness, nice creaminess. On the nose, it's very different than the palate. So if you tasted this one, Plugging your nose, you wouldn't get that grassy note or that black licorice. Yeah, very different on the palate than on the nose. Like I said, uh, creamy, maybe a light vanilla, a little bit of that powdered sugar. The grass comes in on the finish, not a lot of peat at all, which is kind of strange. I expected more. We have had a few of these ones or a, a couple drams from this bottle here. Yeah, so good overall. Doesn't blow my mind by any means. I've had better bourbon cask. I've had better sherry cask. I've had better combination of the two. This one's probably just like an 84, maybe an 85 for me. I'm really not crazy about it to be honest with you. I think it's good, not great. Um, don't break the bank buying this one unless you're really into that funky kind of grassy note that you get from the local barleys. Over here on my left with the Society Release five-year-old. So this is 100% bourbon cask. Fresh bourbon, meaning first fill bourbon cask. A little muted on the nose to be honest with you. Only 95 bucks Canadian, so not so bad, price-wise. I wonder if they're just bottling younger stuff to appease the Society Release members, I'm not sure. Kind of raises a little bit of a red flag. Maybe not a red flag, but definitely sparks my curiosity as to why they would go five years old. A little bit of like a light Spring bank funk on this one, not much. I didn't get much on the local barley actually. It turned more 
black licorice, strong grassy note instead of uh, the traditional spring bank funk. On the palate here, Okay, so maybe that's why they bottled that five years old here. Drinks really, really easy at 57.1%. Despite only being five years old. Yeah, that's, that's a dangerous low heat. Drinks with less heat than the local barley and the local barley really didn't have too much heat either being cast drank. That's really nice on the palate. It reminds me a little bit of some of the more modern bourbon cask Kilcarin 8s. Or the newest one anyway. With less peat. Almost like a hazel burn kind of peat. Which is non-existent almost. Just the funk without the peat. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Not a lot going on on the nose, but still nice, approachable, sweet. Um, not easy to distinguish what's going on there. There is some like melon kind of fruit on the palate, not strong, but I bet you that opens up quite a bit and goes a little bit more melon heavy. That's really good. I like that. Okay, so for the price, value, quality, all those things, the five is, in my opinion, lights out the better choice than the 11 local barley. Although I know most people won't be able to pick up the five. Um, I guess that just emphasizes the fact that, there's a fruit fly over here. Um, emphasizes the fact that the local barley is probably not worth picking up in my opinion, especially at the close to $200 prices that many local barleys are going for nowadays. Even if it's like 150, I would say it's an easy avoid for me if I tasted this before I bought it. Whereas the five, great bang for your buck. Uh, like I said, less than $100, you cannot go wrong with that. And it drinks better than the local barley in my opinion. So I'm gonna give this one an 86 and a half um, cause I think it's worth it and yeah, 84, 86 and a half. That's where I'm at with these two. Uh, hope you liked this video. If you did guys hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, support this channel on Patreon as well. Cheers.